So it gets back into this business of essences again. Now, if you say, um, oh, certainly um, uh, God um, could sin, God doesn't have an essence, then what are you saying? You're saying that the word God is an arbitrarily assigned name to a certain entity, in which case, you see, you might as well call God not God with all of the conceptual baggage that that brings, but apply some other name completely. Yes, sir. Um, if the name God is simply an arbitrary sign that does not have any conceptual content, any intentional meaning as well as extensional reference, yes, sir. If the word God has only extensional reference and no intentional sense, then you can make God do anything. But if the word God has intentional meaning as well, then not even God can be not God. Are there things that God cannot do? Yes, He cannot be not God. Now, uh, you know, if um, you want to say, oh, that's subordinating God to the laws of logic. No, it's, it's saying that God is a being. The laws of logic are laws of being, but ultimately the laws of God, because they're laws of being. And God is ultimate being, creator of all other beings, so the laws of being are laws of God. So, um, in, that, in that sense, every being, has at least some essence, the essence of being, which is to be and not not to be. You see. Well, it looks like we ran out of time again. <laughs>